In this video, we will be taking a look at the SRM20 software installation procedure, specifically for use with the engraving accessory kit. Now, if you're looking for more of a standard SRM20 installation uh, guideline, I suggest checking out the webpage startup.rolanddg.com where you can select your language, uh, device series, which would be the monofat for the SRM20, and this will bring you to more of a standard installation. But to continue on, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this process specifically for the SRM20 and the engraving kit. To get started, uh, we can review what we will need to install for this workflow. Uh, the first step will be the driver used to establish USB connectivity. We will then install, uh, install vPanel utility. And this is just a uh, simple virtual panel that we can use to interface with the mill, set origins, uh, arrive at park positions, things like that. Lastly, we will uh, get vCarve desktop installed. Uh, this comes standard with the engraving accessory kits. We'll take a look at how to register, uh, install, and set up that portion of the software as well. So let's get started. First up, uh, I'm going to load up the driver here. And by the way, uh, all of each of these programs will be linked below, so just look for those if you don't have a reference, uh, if you need to follow along. Starting off with the driver, uh, I'll go ahead and, ahead and enter this. Select Setup64 at the bottom. Select yes on our confirmation and a very simple driver dialog we want to install for the SRM20 and we can select start. I'll give them this a moment to load. Select next on our license agreements and prompts. All right, and as you can see, pretty quick installation there. We are all set for the SRM20 driver. Uh, note that if you have a prompt to authorize the SRM20 driver, uh, please do through the Windows uh, dialog there. So now that we have our driver installed, we can go and move to the second component, which is the vPanel utility. Again, this one will be linked below as well. I'm going to go ahead and launch the setup. Very similar process here. Unpack this, select next, approve our license agreements, install, and confirm any prompts that come up to authorize the vPanel utility. All right, now looks like we are all set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and test connectivity. Uh, on the monofab side, the SRM20 is plugged in, uh, I have the machine turned on, and I will now insert the USB. With that inserted, uh, we can go ahead and go to the start menu and just type vPanel. Uh, looks like our SRM21 is right on top, so I will select that, and good. Our machine is connected here. Uh, if you want to test your connectivity for any reason you can move to any one of these uh, park positions or origins and you should hear your machine actuate. Great, so that concludes the vPanel setup. We are now ready to move on to vCarve desktop. Now this is a very uh, intuitive and powerful engraving program uh, that really makes interfacing with the SRM20 uh, much easier. So to get started, uh, let's look at registering this. If you have purchased the engraving accessory kit, specifically for the SRM20, you'll notice in the bottom of the box, there will be uh, about a six by eight uh, decal with your vCarve desktop license. So just take note of that because when we go and select our registration link for vCarve desktop, you will be prompted with a screen like so. Now what you will want to do is 
insert your contact information here. You will then enter your registration deals, which are written on that decal in the box. Now this one says uh, original registered username. That's the actual first line of your VCarve desktop license. Uh, so it may be something like Roland, Roland Corporation OEM, uh, a number, and then the software version. Again, written right on the top of the decal. Uh, the second license code, you can copy that right over from the second line item in on the decal. And once that's all completed, Completed, you can submit the registration. Now this will be like uh, any typical online registration. You should have a confirmation to your email. Uh, once completed, you can then access your Vectric portal, which is the manufacturer of VCarve. So once you get there, uh, you will be logged in. And I'll show you what it looks like on my end. So I'm logged in now. This is what you should see after registration. And just take note that if you're looking to download the installer, it's under the uh, software section here. You get a big red download button. Select this, uh, scroll down, and you should see an installer for vCarve Desktop. That will bring you to uh, the installation process, and you can pick up the vCarve installation from there. Following the registration of vCarve Desktop and the downloading of the installer, we are now ready to actually install the software that we will use for this kit. I mentioned this video will be focused on the engraving accessory kit installation. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go into software here. And it is worth noting that uh, the SRM20, you know, if you're looking for more of a standard installation, we have Dr. Engrave software compatible with the machine which is just a very basic layout and design program for engraving. We also have Roland's SRP Player CAM software available for this machine. Uh, but again, for the engraving accessory kit, we'll be focusing solely on vCarve desktop. So I have my installer here. Uh, again, you can find this under the product section of the Vectric website. And you'll have a, an installer of something like this. I'm going to go ahead and run the installer now. Select yes on any prompts given. And we'll just move our way through this installer. I'm going to go ahead and install vTransfer with this one. This is like an added virtual utility that has some added benefits with the program. So I'll include that. Select next. Next. And here you can see vCarve desktop uh, starting the extraction and installation process. So we'll give this a minute to uh, go through its motions. Now looking ahead here, uh, one thing we should note is that uh, in the latest versions of vCarve desktop, we will have the SRM20 option built right into the machine pick list. Uh, however, if you're running an older option, you may need to install the post-processor or the, uh, the machine model manually for the installer. So just a heads up there. Uh, we can get to that in a later point. All right. Now it looks like our installer is just about to wrap up here. And we are ready to finish. Go ahead and click finish here. VCarve Desktop will launch, and we are ready to set up jobs. So a quick recap, uh, we installed the SRM20 driver to establish USB connectivity. Uh, we installed the virtual panel, or the vPanel utility, to uh, use to interface with the machine, set origins, or move to park positions. And then we installed VCarve Desktop, which will be our primary interface for setting up engraving files or outputting to the machine. In the next videos, we will take a look at the engraving accessory kit overview uh, to cover what is, uh, is covered within that kit, along with the physical installation of the various components included. We will also take a look at the rotary engraving workflow uh, for engraving with V-bits on the machine, 
along with uh, the diamond scribing workflow if you're looking to uh, get into marking uh, gifts, keepsakes, and things like that.